Hello Aries, welcome to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. This is going to be your love reading for May 23rd through the 29th. We're going to, this is a no contact reading. So if you're not in contact with the person who's on your heart and on your mind, or if, this, if there's a disconnect in your communication, um, this reading could be for you. I am also offering an extended for $5.50. How to access that extended video is in the description. So, Aries, if you are new or returning to my channel, thank you, welcome. Hope life is good to you and you are good to life. Okay, this is for Aries. In the no contact. One more shuffle. All right, how is your love interest, this person, feeling while being in no contact with you? The Ten of Swords, okay. If they could say anything to you, what would they say? The Queen of Pentacles. All right, what are, the cha what are their challenges? What are they facing? What obstacles are they facing while in no contact? Queen, I'm sorry, the King of Cups and your advice, my love, is the Nine of Swords. The underlying energy here is the Five of Cups. Um, when I saw the Ten of Swords, I was like, oh, oh, this person's not doing good. Here's that sorrow, okay? Here's that dwelling on the negative, possibly the past, the things you cannot change. This is crying over spilled milk. So Tarot often has like a quote that is popularized. So I think this one is crying over spilt milk. If you guys know some other ones, let me know. But I believe that may be the most popular one. At least it was when I first started um, some years ago. So, All right. So let's move these out of the way. And we will revisit them when it's their turn. And focus on the Ten of Swords. Are they in pain? They're hurt. They're down. They could feel betrayed. They could, I think this is them hurting. I don't know if this rep, represents an ending of any kind, but maybe they feel defeated. Like there's something they can't do. They can't fix the problem. And also the five of cups is giving me that, right? This is like an energy of defeat. This is like defeat as well. So let's get into it. Why the 10 of swords for how this person feels? The Six of Swords. So, I mean, they just want to come out of the drama, come out of the negativity. They just want peace, you know? And um, they could be looking for that. They could be reaching out for something that is peaceful, that is calming. That's one of those quotes associated with the card is moving into calmer waters. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it just helps you remember the meaning of a card or one of the meanings. Why the Six of Swords? Okay. Ooh. Someone is bitter. Someone is bitter. They are feeling it. Well, and, and it's not always necessarily bitter, but this is like a card of not forgiving, unforgiving, um holding something against another person you know why the queen of swords reverse the four of pentacles holding back holding themselves back creating some type of barrier or boundary so this person is wow aries really turning themselves off i mean i, I understand the no contact it's like they are making sure there is no a no contact they're very angry and very I, I do get bitter here what is the energy of this ten of swords what is the energy of the ten of swords here's the moon and the four of wands so this could involve a wedding or marriage or some sort of family dynamic um this could involve like a home life this could represent that like the home there's something here that 
either they feel they, they don't know, they're in the dark about, there was some shadiness, there was something that wasn't, it wasn't, just wasn't cool. It wasn't okay. I feel that here. So how are they feeling? Gosh, how are they not feeling? But they want to, I want to pull one card here because it's like, they want this peace, you know? They want to come out of it. What's the energy of the Six of Swords? The Knight of Swords in the reverse. And I think it's because they keep thinking about it. It's like that nagging thing that just exists. And maybe because it hasn't been resolved or talked about, like no closure, that could be a thing here. All right, so what... If they could say something to you, what would they say? Okay, they have the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be your love interest, this person. Queen of Pentacles. This could be some other person. I don't know. Why the Queen of Pentacles? Stressed out, worried, having anxiety, sleepless nights. Why the Nine of Swords? Why the Nine of Swords? Why the Nine of Swords? Okay, the Seven of Pentacles. Someone is evaluating a situation, maybe re-evaluating something that has transpired. Um, waiting for something to develop here. Why the seven of why the seven of pentacles? The tower. Okay. Something could have happened very unexpected. They weren't expecting something to happen. There could have been a downfall or disruption in this connection. Uh, mm, and this is, sorry, that was turned over. The six, I'm sorry, the eight of swords, that stuck feeling. So I, I felt that before. I mean, that was their underlying energies, the five of cups. Like they can't get out of it. They can't undo it. And this, this the eight of swords feels that way as well. What is the energy of this Queen of Pentacles? The Ace of Cups. I mean, this person with the Ace of Cups, they probably just want to be emotionally supported. They want to be poured into, loved into. I don't know if this is them looking for new love. I, I mean, it's kind of odd to get that. I think this is just... You know, this is not just new love, the Ace of Cups. It's something very beautiful. It's when someone pours their heart and love into you and care. It is a beautiful card about emotional um, stability, emotional fulfillment, um, all that stuff. And they could just want that. So what would they say? I feel like they would let you know how they're feeling. Like they've been stressed or worried about something um and then boom something happened and it just put them in this powerless stuck position okay um so what are the challenges they face being in no contact what were their biggest obstacles and challenges king of cups cancer pisces scorpio Mm -hmm. Why the King of Cups for the biggest challenge? The, the King of Wands reversed with the Nine of Cups. Now, this could be... <laughs> um, there's something here about not budging, not yielding. But the King of Cups, though... Maybe they 
can't express themselves. Maybe they want to express their feelings and they can't for whatever reason. What's the energy of this King of Cups? The Five of Pentacles. Feeling rejected, feeling left out in the code. Okay, maybe that's something they want to say and they just, they can't or they don't know how. Or they haven't had an opportunity to say it. What is the energy of the King of Wands reverse? The Two of Pentacles. I mean, it's like, I'm kind of getting this energy of wanting to... cooperate or wanting to do their own thing like this i don't know there's like this tug of war almost hmm um what's the energy of this nine of cups there's that ace of cups again <laughs> So this person could be out and about, like they could be trying to feel a void or find some temporary pleasure, satisfaction, some sort. They could be drinking, could be eating, could be, you know, out there being promiscuous. Um, I mean, that nine of cups could be anything like that. And I think it's because they're just looking for something to feel better, you know, something to support them emotionally, to make them feel poured into, if that makes sense. Because here they feel rejected, they feel denied, they feel left out in the cold. And so um, I feel like they are searching for something to fulfill them. All right, so Aries, what is your advice? What should you do here? You should, oh, the dinosaur. The Nine of Swords. When I get the Nine of Swords as advice, it always feels like eliminating the stress, the source of stress by dealing with whatever the issue is head on. No delaying, no waiting around, no just sitting in it, letting it fester. It's like, no, let's deal with this. Let's find a way to resolve whatever this is. Clarify the Nine of Swords as advice, please. The page of swords okay having a truthful conversation so maybe there you need to talk to this person maybe you need to get something off of your chest because you guys are both in this really like uh like stressful energy like you're both stressed out um your person really i really get that from them but i, I mean i see this as you and i feel like you guys need to talk Okay, let them, I feel like your person just really wants to express themselves. And they may feel better, you guys may understand each other better if you talked about it. Why the Page of Swords? Oh, the Seven of Swords. Somebody is not showing their card. Somebody doesn't want to... I f this could be a mess. Like somebody, somebody just wants to get away with it or get out of it or just abandon abandon it. I'm I'm getting this energy of sweeping it under the rug. I don't know why. Why the seven of swords? That's often sometimes a person who has regret or they feel bad about something. The king of pentacles. Mm. Well, I think this is just probably more advice. I'm not sure why or who this is. I think this is just saying, take the King of Pentacles approach. There's this, he's mature. He handles business, okay? He does not let things linger. He does not get, um, he's not fearful to handle a problem, to resolve it. You know, like make sure everything is accounted for. Everybody feels good. They feel safe. We're walking away from this conversation on good terms, on the same page as much as much as possible. I'm not, I know that's not always reality, but as much as possible. All right, I just want to pull one more card here. What is the energy of this nine of swords? 
Oh, yeah, Aries. No, see what you're carrying around this. You need to talk about it. You need to get it off your chest. Okay. Yeah, you can't just escape this. You know, you have to take this head on. You can't just get out of this. You can't just sweep it under the rug or act like it's not there. That's not how emotions work. Emotions don't just disappear. Okay, they manifest. They manifest in some way. In some ways, it's detri detrimental. And you don't want that. You want to have a release for those feelings, those words, those thoughts. Okay? It keeps you healthy. All right. I'm going to leave it here. If that was enough for you, good luck and love. Good luck with the situation. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if not, if you want to dig a little bit deeper, I'm going to ask, what is it that you don't know or see with this connection? Um, what is this person's fears? And what is the outcome? What's going to happen between the two of you? And you can meet me over in the extended for that. And um, I'll see you there. You guys take care. Mwah. Deuces.